Hi, Phyllis here from southernfrugal.com. I wanted to give y'all a little update on the um, juicer. Okay, we actually only used it two times. And um, what really got me is how much it took to clean it out. It was really, really a lot of trouble. Now the juice was good, and, and it really did a good job of extracting the juice. However, I think that a lot of the vitamins and minerals are, are in that uh, fiber that the juicer just removes. Um, so we, anyway, decided against it, and so I ended up taking it back to Walmart, and they gladly took it back. Uh, there was no problem at all. And the lady asked me if, if I had used it, and I said, yes, I used it twice, but we were not happy with it. So, anyway, I ended up taking that back. Now, uh, this morning I'm going to fix a smoothie and I'm going to put uh, some orange. Uh, I'm going to put a beet. I did cut the top off because they were all wilted. Banana, apple, and I'm going to use a little bit of kale. And it'll just take longer to um, really grind it all up, but we'll still get the fiber and really all the nutrients. Now, I am going to peel the apple because it's not organic and uh, we're just going to go ahead and fix that this morning and to sweeten it up a little bit I do use a little bit of agave so we uh, have about decided to get a Vitamixer now or Vitamix I think it's called I've done a lot of research the last several days on the Vitamix now it's very expensive but I just wanted to talk about that just a minute uh, I think it probably is the best one on the market. It will grind up a whole anything. It will even grind up an avocado seed, which has got a lot of fiber and probably nutrients in it. So I was very impressed with it, and I've looked at a lot, lot of videos and read a lot of websites on it. And even though it's expensive, it's made in the USA, and uh, you get all your fiber, minerals, vitamins, everything. So uh, we're definitely going to go ahead and get one of those, but um, it's probably going to be a couple of weeks uh, before we actually have it in hand. But anyway, this morning I want to go ahead and do a, um, one with a smoothie with vegetables in it. And, uh, you know, just using my blender here. And this is a good blender, by the way. So, oh, wait, I forgot to tell you. This is what happened. I bought me, uh, let's see, three or four pair of uh, just really lounge pants and some more t-shirts yesterday. And I had dropped one size. Can y'all believe it? I couldn't believe it. Now, I had vowed not to get on the scales, and I haven't. Uh, we, I didn't throw them away. That's what I wanted to do, but my husband likes to weigh himself every once in a while, so I didn't throw them away. But I can tell you the walking has definitely worked and uh, I haven't dropped a size in 15 years and I've been on many different diets. So uh, apparently the walking uh, has made a difference. Alright, so I'm going to get these vegetables and fruits ready to blend and we'll be back. Alright, I've got my uh, fruit and my uh, uh, vegetables all ready to blend. So I've got the juice from two oranges at the very bottom of the blender down here. And I've got um, the kale. And I had to uh, cut the carrots up. Then I've got the apple. I used a very large apple. Then one beet. And then the very top is banana, which is still partially frozen. Now I'm going to need more liquid, obviously, than this. So I'm going to have to add some uh, almond milk to it. So I'm just going to put a little bit in there. Maybe a cup or so. Alright, we're ready to start blending. Now I'm going to leave this the camera on while I do this. It's going to be kind of loud, but let's see how it goes. Okay, 
this is going to be a little while, probably another minute or so, but it did uh, grind it up pretty good, but it, it didn't get it real smooth, so I'm going to grind it a little more. And I know certainly in the uh, Vitamix machine, this would already be smooth and liquefied. So anyway, we're going to uh, just do this probably another minute and see if we can't get it a lot smoother. All right, we'll be back. Okay, it got it pretty smooth, but you can still uh, see some of the uh, pulp in there. But what I'm going to do is go ahead and add some almond butter to that. Just a couple of tablespoons. And I'm going to add some uh, agave juice to sweeten it up because Mr. Bucky doesn't like it if it doesn't taste good. So add a couple of tablespoons of agave and the almond butter. our breakfast and let me put this over here a minute we are definitely going to get the body mix machine and uh, that way all this is going in the compost peelings and whatever now if uh, a fruit or vegetable is not organic I always peel them I, I just feel better about it that way but I would love to be able to put the uh, whole beet in the machine, root and all. Of course, you'd wash it really good to start with, but just to have it uh, all ground up. And the other thing is, with a Vitamix machine, you can make your own almond butter. You can also um, grind up um, your own flour. Uh, you can make your own peanut butter. And let's see what else. Uh, oh, it, it will grind up an avocado seed. And um, just, you know, you can put the whole orange. Well, you'd have to kind of cut it to put it in there. But you can use the orange peeling. Of course, a lot of the flavor of the orange is definitely in the peeling. I mean, we use orange zest all the time, right? And my understanding is a lot of the vitamin C of an orange is in the pith, that little white area going around it. And uh, so I'm just sold on it. So uh, it's a pretty expensive machine, but after looking at all the different videos from bukus of people uh, doing videos on it and also websites talking about it, and it's made in America, okay? And that's a big plus for me. So we're probably uh, gonna go ahead and order that today and I don't, I'm not sure how long it'll take it to get here, but they're made in Ohio. And if any of y'all already have a Vitamix machine or blender, please leave me a comment below and tell me what you think about it, because uh, I'd really like to hear from y'all. Uh, I do think the videos I watched were from people being very honest, and they were doing all kinds of comparisons with other type machines. Now, this is an um, Oster blender and it really is a great machine but it will not grind up a whole apple I mean it would eventually but it probably take you 10 minutes and um, but it's a really good machine but I want my smoothies um, and particularly with the greens all super ground up you know um, so we don't even know they're in there but I do think the kale uh, grinds up really well even in this blender. Now, so this morning smoothie, uh, superfoods, carrots, beets, kale. Kale is the most healthy of all the greens. And of course, if you can eat it raw, you're better off. So uh, I think we're going to have a pretty healthy smoothie this morning. But um, I don't really care for the beets in there. But if you put some kind of citrus in there, like lemon, orange, even lime, it really kind of 
takes that greens taste away, or at least it does in my opinion. I mean, I can't tell that there's some kale in there. I really can't. So anyway, uh, and I did use the almond milk. Now, I like to use almond milk because it has all the calcium in it. And uh, that part I really like because we don't really drink uh, milk. Not, not here. I hardly ever buy it except for cooking. So um, that part is good on the almond milk. But I would love to be able to make my own almond milk, coconut milk, even rice milk you can make in the Vitamix. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and uh, have this. I'm going to go ahead and pour some in. Now, of course, the, the uh, red color is from the beet, and I did just use one beet, and I peeled it. So, it's really quite good and very, very healthy. All right, and there's my hand from peeling the beet. Look, see, even some on this hand. Red hands from peeling the raw beet. All right, we will see you all next time. Bye-bye.